Ever since starting photography over lockdown, I've always heard that New York was the holy grail for any photography location out there. Over the past two years, I obviously didn't have a lot of opportunity to go visit New York, so I've been honing my photography skills here in the UK or in the rest of Europe like uh, Spain or Germany. Now, at the start of September, I get a message from my dear friend Nick, aka Whitley Travels. And he basically says, hey man, I found some really cheap return flights to New York, we can crash at my friend's place, £320 return, are you in or out? And of course I said yes. New York is said by many to be the place to go for photography. It offers some amazing scenes for both daytime and nighttime photos. I had the chance to go explore New York and grab some awesome shots that I want to share with you. Note that this is the first part of a two-part series. For more shots of New York and some juicy helicopter footage, make sure you sub to the channel and tune in for the next video. In this video, I share with you some shots that I got with my trusted travel companion, the Tamron 17-70 zoom lens. I hope you like the shots and I hope you enjoy the video. Look at that building, man, it's massive. Let me see if my 17mm is actually wide enough for this. Oh yeah, it works. Oh my god, the colours are so nice. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. F5, maybe. Nick, come look at this. That's so peng. Oh, this spiny structure is the one that we saw earlier on the helicopter. That thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The building's not even that good, but the clouds in the background just make it, man. I really like this spiky structure, actually. I'm gonna try and take it like horizontally, like this maybe, go a bit lower. Oh, look at that. It's quite nice. That's so sick. I feel like we missed some of the sunset because we're on the ground. Maybe tomorrow we can time it so we're above ground for the sunset bit. Get a close-up texture shot. Honestly, I don't even have a subject. The sky is just so nice. Let's try and get a look up shot. These two. Nice. It's so massive that you can't even see the top of it. That's a nice building. I love that one past the tree. So it will past it quickly. Uh, the sky is literally on fire. I'm gonna keep the this globe in the foreground and focus on these two buildings in the background. Nice. This is insane. Look how cool this looks. This is the um, <coughs> Oculus shopping center here at the, just underneath the World Trade Center. And the structure looks even more insane from the inside than the outside. Yeah, the 17 to 70 is perfect for this because it goes just wide enough to kind of show the perspective of the massiveness of this roof. Let's have a look. The One World Observatory. How much is it? 38 bucks. I feel like that's kind of like a must-do when you're in New York, no? I mean, I feel like we've done the helicopter. We have done the helicopter, <laughs> that's true. But night time? Yeah, true. Oh. Note to self, apparently tripods are not allowed here. Did you bring a tripod? Like a mini one, yeah. They took it off. That's weird. One, two, three. How about a wave to the camera? Wave. One, two, three. <laughs> Peace sign. One, two, thumbs up. We are now at the World Trade Center observatory level. The views are absolutely stunning and somehow we've completely lucked out and it's been entirely empty. Like there's been no queues whatsoever. I think it's just because of the time of year that we're coming. Unfortunately, our tripods got taken off us <coughs> at security. So I'm gonna <laughs> improvise and use my phone and my lens cap to prop up my camera a little bit like so. Put on self timer. Let's get some tasty light trails. Oh, 
stop recording at this time. Are we actually spinning? <laughs> Let me quickly see if I can grab a cool steam shot now that it's a bit darker. Oh, I need to get out of my long exposure settings. Cool action shot, I like that one. Okay, ready? Nice. I kind of like these, they're kind of quite moody. Very famous spot, that's called uh, Dumbo. Looking at Manhattan Bridge, I believe. Boom. Very simple, just frame the bridge in the middle with these two red buildings on either side. Perfect. Let's see if I can get another non-classic frame of this bridge. Let's try out some different things. Maybe zooming in quite a bit. Boom. Something like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, good spot, Nick. We go down a bit more, get a picture of the stop sign. Like so. And the building in the background, I like that. So we're trying to actually walk onto the bridge right now. But as you can see, it's quite tall. So we need to follow it all the way to the end. Maybe I can use the hole in the bridge for framing. Let's see. Tap to focus onto the distance. Yeah, like that. Cool. Really nice shot. I might come back later um, at night just to get the light trails and bring my tripod with me. a little bit, boom, lovely stuff. I like to look at this graffiti mate, look at that. Let me see if I can, actually I'm zooming. Yeah, I'll use the little opening as a bit of framing. Yeah, it looks really cool, I like that. I want to try and frame the shot through the fence and also kind of contrast the really grungy foregrounds with all the graffiti in the foreground with the really nice kind of like finance district buildings in the background something like this this is perfect such a this is such a cool image you got the someone basically drying their clothing on this like very edgy looking graffiti covered rooftop but then you have the entire finance district sort of in the background that works really well is this wide enough? Yeah, actually it is. Right. Currently in the Met Museum. Um, our friend who's, who we're staying with, thankfully, is a member of the Met Museum. So we're able to actually get in for free, which is pretty lucky. What about her? <clears throat> Let's put the statue in line with the pillar just behind it. Go a bit lower. Good. <clears throat> There we go. Oh mate, I love this. So massive. Ooh, I like the light here. That's cool. I like those shadows. Shutter speed needs to be quite high. Nice one. Like this. Quite tricky to expose because the sunlight's really bright. But I like the light pattern, that's really nice. Okay, really like the look of the staircase. We're gonna stand in the middle and hope that the Tamron is bright enough. Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna go f2.8, slow shutter speed, ISO all the way up to 1600. I like that. Lovely leading lines up until, up until the top. Some people there, and a zoomed in picture. Come on, bro. Get out the shot. There we go. Let me get a pick of this um, archer. That looks kind of cool. With the lights in the background as well. I like that. Boom.
lovely little scene here. Let's see what we can capture. I'll zoom in, get one boat in there and these two towers in the background. Nice. Should speed up a bit. Cool, you can get like stuff typewritten. Uh, I like the look of this angel surrounded by all the trees on either side. We'll grab a quick one here. And we're now in the area of Central Park where there's like this cool underpass thing. It looks quite crowded, but there's a really cool shot I want to get inside. Let's see if that's possible. Let me take a portrait of that statue. Um, I kind of like how it's just surrounded by so much green. Maybe I can edit that and make it look nice. No, the taxis. I want to get the taxis. Oh well. I think I got one. I want to get the taxis with the steam, but the light stops. Hey, do you mind if I take photos during the taxi? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I love the steam coming out of that snack shop. Let's make sure, I hope the people stop. There we go. Yeah, I can crop that in. That's a cool image. Yeah. I want all the pigeons to fly up. I'm trying to go over and stop. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, it's quite hard to see actually. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'll grab like those at the top there. Then crop it a bit more. It's quite cool. Alright, this spot I saw in another YouTube video. It's a public hotel. And it's got some really cool, well, really fast rotating doors for one. But really cool escalators. Oh mate, this is such a sick spot. It's unreal. A picture of this dome. It's like a red version of St. Paul's. Red cross. I love this empty tunnel. One second, let me take a quick photo. It's just a one fat leading line. Oh, the lanterns are a bit clapped. Okay, let's take this shot. Actually, do you want to just continue walking, Nick? Nice. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. I'll shoot through the fence. It's just a very typical New York crossing, I feel like. Someone with a vibrant outfit would fit in great, but unfortunately, can't keep Nick waiting forever. All right, I hope the background noise isn't too bad, but I'm currently walking on the Manhattan Bridge um, because there's a shot that I want to get. It's kind of halfway down the bridge, looking onto the New York skyline, and you can kind of use these openings in the in the fence to shoot through. Uh, you can also use this little gap. All right, this is exactly what I was looking for. So I found a hole in the fence that I almost just cut my hand on. Found a hole in the fence. Uh, so I'm gonna set up my tripod and get a beautiful view of Manhattan. Manhattan, yes. I also bumped into another photographer doing the same thing. So you can give us a wave if you want. Yeah, hey. Awesome. Okay, tripod is ready. Put on self time, I'm gonna go for a 10 second exposure. Aperture is f8.0 and ISO is all the way down as usual with long exposures. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the spot. Clearly very popular. Um, I just see 
Okay, my picture was a bit blurry. Let's try that again. I have a feeling the bridge might be shaking a little bit yeah. from... It's, well, really, with the train shakes, that's when I don't shoot. I see. Like, right, so the bridge was a lot shakier than anticipated. My initial plan of taking super long exposures to get that really smooth looking water didn't really work, but I'm still happy with the shots. I stayed within the range of 3 to 10 second exposures, as you can see on screen, and had to wait for moments when no trains were passing. Overall, very happy with these. I'm not sure what this structure is, it's some kind of park thing, but it looks kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to grab a quick photo here. It's also really, really rainy, which is a bit annoying. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to take that many photos today. Yeah, that's quite cool. I'm going to go F4.0, ISO down. Actually, no, I'll keep it at 200, faster shutter speed. I kind of like those little bits in the water. That's a nice base. <laughs> it looks quite creepy, to be honest, but I kind of like the look, so I'm going to try and take a picture. Get a picture of this child crying one of the one of the lady as well okay this is what we were looking for this is called the vessel it's just like a really cool piece of architecture we'll zoom in all the way usually you can get people like walking on it as well but by the looks of it they've closed it off and apparently that's because people are climbing all the way to the top um, to commit suicide, which is really sad and horrible to hear about. Oh, that's sick. Quick wide angle here. So I'm right in the middle. It's quite sick. I like that. Grand Central. This is why you shoot raw because the sky is going to be super bright but the shadows are going to be super dark but I can save this in editing I think. I right, gotta take the obligatory Times Square shot. Let's get a picture of this thing. Kind of cool. Bunch of different panels, the skyscrape in the background. Such a cool outfit. I'm not sure what he is. That's pretty cool. Another shot here. The timer is just about wide enough to do this but the 12 might be a bit more suitable. I'm going to stick with the Tamron because I don't want to keep changing my lens, especially out here in central New York. Okay, we are, where are they? Grand Central Station, baby. Grand Central <laughs> Station, baby. Ooh, let's see, what kind of shots can I get? I like the look of those two people. That might be too far away. Actually, oh, that works. ISO up. No, what about the clock? Let's get a close up of the clock. Yeah, I like that. That looks kind of cool. Oh, I like this composition actually. <laughs> we got the clock in the foreground and the two window arches in the background. I think that looks quite cool. Yeah, like this. Boom. Nice. All right. I think this is the spot. The Tudor City Bridge or overpass. A really iconic spot because you can get a picture of the Empire State Building and this like really cool looking straight road. Oh yeah, that's sick. I'll change over to my other lens as well, I'll get like a compressed shot of the street. Right, and we can add a new hat to my hat collection. As you might have noticed in my previous videos, every time I go to a new place I try to buy a local cap to add to a collection and the dream is that one day I have 
lots of different caps from lots of different places. It sounded cooler in my head. For big travel photography trips like this one, it's always a bit of a headache trying to decide what to pack and what not to pack. As I knew we'd be walking around the city a lot getting photos, I didn't really want to bring loads of camera lenses that I had to change all the time. Especially in a city like New York, you don't really want to be opening your camera bag every time you see a new composition and end up getting targeted for a potential theft. So I decided to mainly use two lenses, the Tamron 70-70 zoom lens and the newly acquired Tamron 70-300 telephoto lens. Look at this thing, it zooms all the way to 300, which on an APS-C camera is the equivalent of 450 mils on a full frame, which basically means super zoomed in. Today's video covered all the juicy shots I got with the Tamron 70-70. In the next video, I'll share with you some even juicier shots with the Tamron 70-300 telephoto lens. Got some really exciting stuff coming up, including a awesome helicopter ride that we were able to go on. So make sure you sub to the channel to not miss it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the photos and the video as always, and I'll see you in the next video.